slow the ball down. Couldn't quite see who it was that transgressed, but uh, it was very obvious. No, we can't spot it from there, but the midfield of England was certainly working quite well, despite the fact that may have looked like a bit of a loose pass. Uh, Mike Cat and uh, Jamie Noon and uh, Lisa Goodwell. Oh, Barkley does really been on fire in these opening few minutes. Well, if, if Johnny Wilkinson is out, which I'm sure no rugby fan, whichever country of support wants to see, he's really got an opportunity to make the number 10 shirt his own. I rather like Charlie Hobson did uh, a few seasons ago when uh, Wilkinson was out. So Ollie Barkley, prodigious player in his youth, and now hoping to get his first World Cup points for 2007. Americans as well. Was, uh, I'm not sure that was Mike Kirk, because I think it was uh, Paul Emmerich there with a the kick left to the ground. Jason Robinson stays on his feet, got his round, two or three players. He helped out by the game he Americans flying in there, they're going to be penalised this time. And indeed they are. You have to say no finesse there. <laughs> if you're going to give away pen a penalty, you might try and do it a little bit of finesse, but uh, very blatant. Well, it's Mike Katz. He's not even out. I was going to say it's Mike Katz's 35th birthday, uh, I think in about a week's time, week to 10 days. He'll be looking for a good performance here. There is the number 12. The penalty taken by Barkley deep down into American territory. <laughs> a 
it's almost as old as David Sylvia. Oh my goodness. Well, here you go, England once more. Sean Perry just sat telling everybody to stay on side, but it's America who came away with it. USA Eagles just trying to drive forward. A little slip there from the scrum half, Ken Erskine. So here we go. Play through for Paul Emmerich. He has been trying to pick up there by the back row forward. Tom Clever is his name. He's got 16 caps for his country. Quite a good try scorer as well. Four or five games, but uh, he slipped off the outside of the foot there. Mike Kirkus. In case you're wondering uh, who that mystery voice was, it was, of course, our pit side reporter, Robbie Knock, who will be going to. Uh, occasionally during this game to get an update on all sorts of little bits and pieces. Just looking at a replay here. Good turnover for the Americans. So just over 11 minutes gone in this opening match in Group A. It's still England 3, USA 3. Two penalties by the respective number 10s. Chad Erskine. Good tackle coming in. A look at the difference there between the weight of the two packs. Not as uh, big as we have seen, or not as big, big as some of the differentials that we're expecting, but as you would expect. England, of course, uh, by far and away the heavier of the two packs. And Lawrence Delalia trying to get a hand to that one. America still retaining control, but under a little bit of pressure there. Simon Shaw and Mike Catt, it was, I think, trying to bear down on the pass there now Mark Cueto been quite quiet couldn't quite get the ball away but stands up quickly Jason Robinson in support Sean Perry looking for it Ollie Barkley spins it across what they want is good clean fast possession Joe Worsley takes it on another three or four meters now then Barkley closed down very quickly by the scrum half Chad Erskine Perry once more, onto that left wing. Barkley looking for options and uh, he finds one with Simon Shaw, but where are they? Well, on a positive side they're retaining possession, but um, you know, really you have to say they're, they're, they're trying to get their runners in from too deep. Well that was taken quickly by England. Good tackle, good defensive tackle. Great running there by Tom Reese. We haven't really mentioned the Wasp flanker, but uh, being uh, flanked up by many as being one of the stars of this England team. Out to Cueto. Goes back inside, and uh, Lucy wasn't quite in the right position there to take advantage of that little break by Cueto. Good tackle coming in from Chris Wiles for the USA. Delalio one handed to Reese. Oh, that's an interception, my goodness. This could be a dramatic score, he's got support inside him. And uh, Paul Emmerich there just closed down. And that was a big mistake by England. And uh, they've gone on 65 to 70 metres, but by the same token, they've just been penalised. Well, in interestingly, I think uh, he might have been tripped there. And the, certainly the reaction from the crowd was... Uh, was one which uh, suggested that there was something untoward. Well, certainly, if we have a look at this again... But, oh, that was the captain. My goodness. Now, if that is spotted, he's going to get a yellow card, isn't he? Well, interestingly, I think the whistling is coming because the crowd, the crowd can uh, see the replay on the big screens here. But... Well, I think the referee is certainly talking to either his linesman or uh, even the fourth official. But that hurt. Well, absolutely. If you remember back in the semi-final of the uh, Rugby World Cup, uh, France against England, Christophe Dominici did something similar. And um, I seem to recall he, he might even have been yellow carded for a while. I think he was, yeah. I'll tell you what, Phil Vickery is a very lucky man. This is Ollie Barkley. Pushes that ball downfield. That was a howling error that led to the break by the Americans in the first place. Well, I think he deliberately put his, his leg out there 
to trip. And, of course, the American bench absolutely incandescent with rage, and he's got away with it. Now, whether he gets cited for it later on, we shall see. Well, England not off to a great start in this opening match in Group A. Great take at the back of the line there by Ben Kay. There's Phil Vickery. Sean Perry just waiting. He's got such quick hands as Perry. Joe Worsley was the dummy runner there with uh, Tom Rees. Both of them, of course, playing for the same club. So they're uh, probably used to doing that. And there's the third member of that back row club from Wasps. Based in South Buckinghamshire, a little left-footed kick there. And did that go out on the full? I'm sure it did, but Jason Robinson, eager to get his hands on the ball. He's done it a couple of times, but the Americans, I have to say, are quite well organised in defence at the moment. They are, and they're slowing the ball down quite effectively at, at, at rock and roll time, or, or England actually aren't moving the ball as quickly as they might when it's presented to them. Well, that is uh, Salisa Sika. who, uh, once again, another player who I'm sure I looked at on the computer and uh, said he was born in the USA. But uh, they're certainly finding some very, very talented players who've shown, certainly shown a physical presence here, but play going on without him, without the left winger. Good drive forward there by the USA, taken over the gain line. This will go into touch. So we'll have a line out. 16 minutes gone. Quite a surprising scoreline, I'm sure, is that England are drawing level. Three all with the USA at the moment. Well, Bernard Lapasse and Sid Miller from the IRB. Intrigued by this uh, contest. I'm sure Bernard Lapasse is uh, not terribly happy after the result at uh, <laughs> Stade de France last night. Well, I was uh, at that game, and uh, as I was wa walking to the uh, station, it was very, very quiet indeed, I have to say. So, well taken by Ben Kay. Kay from the Leicester Tigers, of course, big, big man, over two metres tall. Just holding it up a little bit, and this obviously does slow things down, and then quite often... The three quarters take it on a very flat line indeed, with no momentum going forward. That's for another day, that discussion. Meanwhile, the Americans being penalised there. That is uh, Mike McDonald. Well, that time I think it was Alec Parker coming in from the side. Yeah, John Van Captain very deliberate in his decision, saying if he does it again, it's a yellow card. But uh, very frustrating when the ball is so slow. It, you can see it there. I think uh, Owen Lentz came over the top, but Alec like Parker transgressed by coming out the side. And I'm sure Brian Ashton would be a little bit concerned that his England side haven't been able to stamp their authority on this game as, as effectively as they might do. I mean, the USA are, are really minnows. Well, England didn't have the greatest build-up to the World Cup, not uh, least, of course, with the injury to Johnny Wilkinson, but... Uh, Two defeats against France didn't help, that's for sure. It just seems a little bit static, a little bit uh, lacking in momentum at, at, at times. Well, this time, is that for hanging on to the ball by Joe Worsley? That's not the first time he's been guilty of that, if it was uh, that offence. There is uh, Vaifolo Esikala. There's Worsley. I can't quite see there, but... Uh, well, he's just lying on top of the ball. There's no way that Sikia could have got to that. Well, the penalty count certainly in favour of uh, England at the moment. But uh, they've got to avoid all of those sort of mistakes because when they come up against stronger opposition, they could be severely punished. So, a line-out right on England's 10-metre line. Phil Vickery, right at the back there. Well, Sheridan almost got his hands to that. Andrew Sheridan, rather, this giant of a prop forward. That was a nice pass there by the American scrum half, Chad Erskins. Caught up by Tom Rees. Tom Rees has certainly done some great work in terms of uh, defence. Now then, Mark Cueto, left-footed, saw a bit of space. 
scrum half there. Easing the ball back to Jason Robinson. Now can the left winger attack from here, stays on his feet. Onto the halfway line. That's quite